What is going on, YouTube? It's Huncho. Um, I just want to start out this video by saying thank you guys. We did it. We finally got to a thousand subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for your support along the way. It makes me so happy seeing that the uh, videos that I'm putting out have actually helped people. Um, and remember, when we get to 2,000 subs, which I guarantee is going to be quick, because people are going to start seeing my videos and they're going to realize, wow, this actually lowered my input lag. This actually boosted my FPS. But I'm going to release my NVIDIA Inspector profile um, to help lower your input lag, make your game run smoother, boost your FPS. Um, yeah, I've been working on that for a while now, so I finally uh, tweaked that to how I liked it. And, and yeah, so let's get on to this video. Uh, so it's going to be short. I've put everything in one registry file. Um, I'll show you guys how to open it really quick. So we go into my drive link that's in the uh, description. Download the registry file. It's going to come up here. This is how you can see what's in it so you know it's not like a virus or anything. So it'll go in your downloads uh, folder. You can hit edit. And it's going to show you everything that I did. So now to run that. You just double click on it and click run. Yes. Boom. Simple as can be. Alright. Next steps. Download this document or you can just read it from there. So it'll come up like this. So disable full screen optimizations. I know a lot of people have done this already. I'm just making sure that everyone has it done. Um, so most of you it's going to be in program files. Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binary, so Win64. Scroll down to these four right here, and what you're going to want to do is go Properties, Compatibility, uh, Change Settings for All Users. I, I use Run This Program as Admin, you don't need to. Um, but Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and then Override High DPI Scaling Method uh, Behavior, and then Application. Um, I know a lot of people don't do it for change all change settings for all users. I just do that just in case. Uh, make sure you do that for all four of these. So next up, we're going to go into the device manager. And now for any of these changes I'm doing, I put info here on each of them. So if you want to read that first to see um, what exactly I'm doing, you can feel free to read it. But I don't want to go over it so the video is not too long. So device manager. It's going to be under system devices here. So I disable high definition audio controller. Your audio is still going to work. It's more so for when a new device connects and stuff, but it should, most devices connect on their own. They don't need this software. Um, high precision event timer. I've covered that in other videos. So you're going to disable all these. So it looks like this So disable high, pre high, high definition audio controller, high precision event timer. The uh, management and in engine interface talk about it right here it's mainly for like companies or like company computers it's not really used for um, personal computers so we're going to disable that and then the sm bus talk about it again right here um if you if you use certain features on your motherboard and the, the temps and stuff don't show up um just re-enable it nothing's going to be hurt like it's fine it re-downloads itself if you just hit click right click on it and hit enable device but those really lower your input lag and help uh, your CPU run at its full state while you're playing. So these next few things are in your BIOS. So I can't really show you because everyone's BIOS is different. Um, but this is how like I get there in my BIOS. There's like an advanced tab. So when you restart your computer, you get into BIOS by like holding your delete button or it'll pop up and it'll say like F8 or F9. Um, most of the time it's delete though. You can just hold the d delete button after you like restart your computer. Um, it'll take you in your BIOS, so it'll be under Advanced tab, CPU Config, and then like CPU Power Management. Everyone's will be different, but that should be kind of consistent across the board. Um, so we're going to dis disable CPU C states, disable Intel Speed Step, Intel Speed Shift, and enable Turbo Mode. We're also going to enable XMP and disable the virtualization technology. I'll just say a few things on these. So if you do leave your CPU on all the time, 
which I don't recommend as it is. But if you do that and just leave it on, don't do the CPU C state step because it allows your, um, when you disable it, it lets all of your cores run all the time. But if you keep it enabled, it'll like turn off the cores when you're not doing anything. So if you leave your computer on all night, it's gonna disable pretty much every core except core zero. Um, so Intel speed step, it's the um, same type of thing. It's like frequency scaling, so your clock speed's gonna change. So instead of running, if you check in your task manager, like I, I only really use my computer for gaming or other like high performance things. So I try to run at five gigahertz. I don't know why it says 4.97 in here, but if you go to something like quick CPU, which is what I use to check my temps and stuff as well. You can see that I'm running at a real time frequency of five. This is my base frequency. So if you don't enable turbo mode, you will only run at 3.6. You will not get up to five. Um, this also this program also shows your CPU temperatures if you uh, wanted to check that out. So then speed shift is clock speeds as well. Um, XMP, so your XMP will be, if you haven't enabled it, you can check in task manager and memory. Your speed right here will say like 2100. 2133 if you haven't enabled it um you can check if you know what ram you have in your computer like i have two 1600 cards so my speed is 3200 um this like huge 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 fps boost if you have not enabled this please do it right now um it's simple usually there's something in your bios that literally on the main screen says enable xmt the last one is virtualization technology. This is something for Intel and AMD. Um, it's, I mean, you can read this description. We don't need this at all. And it runs in the background the whole time. So if you turn this off, it um, helps optimize your CPU. So that is it for this video. Um, I know it's short, but there was a lot of things in that registry and go try out Fortnite right now and it will be running smooth. Your FPS will be higher. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys say in the comments. Please let me know if it works. Uh, have a great day, everyone.